Let's see, is it, now, is it filmed thick? So thick. So thick? Fuck Slim yeah. Slim thick. Slim thick. Hey guys, it's Cooking with Nathan. And this is... Ken Fields. Ken Fields. And today we are doing a bell pepper pasta thing. If you know the Italian word for it, please scream it out. Or say in the comments or yell at me, whatever the fuck you want to do. Or just make it up, we'll believe you. Make it up, you. make it up. We don't know any better. We'll call this the Bel Papa Est Jajul. <laughs> that sounds Italian, right? Do you ever work in Italian restaurants? I did. You did? Yeah. Oh, do you know any uh, bell pepper? No. Yeah? <laughs> no. What'd you do in the restaurant? Uh, I used to be a bartender in fine dining. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hey, man. Yeah, I used to sling drinks. Oh. You're keeping weird hours, like you work super long hours, yeah. so like everyone ends up dating each other and oh. everyone everyone's fucking the server or the bartender right. or the... Or that one hot girl that's a server that everybody wants to fuck. Or the pastry chef yeah. or the, yeah. How'd you uh, get into this or like what like, because I was very curious about that because by the time you guys start talking to me, I've already had a couple drinks. <laughs> sure, so um, my girlfriend and I, Barbie feels. Um, we're non-monogamous and have been for our entire almost five-year relationship. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, we just figured um, if we are already fucking for free, we might as well Makes make a bunch of money off of it. Yeah. And um, we we have two phases to our business. One, there's the porn side, which is for fun. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're also getting certified as sex mm -hmm. educators. It is as much fun as it looks. It is a lot harder work than it looks, um, but definitely worth it. What got you into the lifestyle swinging? And understand, we were just talking about this as being a very, an older thing, like an older minds, uh, mindset to do. Now it seems like the newer kind of thing is just being poly. Yeah, you know? yeah. So what got you into doing swinging? When I was in my 30s, I had a conversation with my mom and I was like, I was like single after a long relationship and yeah. she was just asking me about my dating life and I was like, I kind of am not sure that monogamy is right for me. Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, what does that make you? Like a polygamist? Because like polyamory wasn't even like, okay. you know, a word at the time. Yeah, or at least not like known. And, um, and so, um, yeah, so it, it took a while until I found someone who would be cool with it, but um, like I gotta give credit to Barbie cause it was actually like right when we became a couple, um, my girlfriend was like, yeah, it's kinda, um, you know, it's kinda too bad that we're exclusive now cause I've kinda always wanted to try being with girls and have threesomes. Mm. And I was like, okay, well, first of all, I would love to do those things with you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, no. Worst offer I've ever gotten in my life. Babe, you know what, and, you just go to hell. God damn it. Yeah, right? <laughs> like I feel spoiled, but I was also like, you know, I heard the way she said it, and I was like, I kind of heard those as two distinct things. Yeah. Like, you want to try being with girls, and you want to try threesomes. So, like, if you think you might be bi, you kind of owe it to yourself to do that. Yeah. And, um, but even so, like, I'm saying this, and something in my head is screaming at me, like, dude, what are you doing? You're telling her to fuck other people. And I was like, shut up. This is going to be good for us. Like, I had, <laughs> I had that exact argument in my own head. And, um, you know, so we, like, started slow. I, I made sure she was with a girl first to see if she liked it. She fucking loved it. Mm. And then we tried, That's you know, a, a threesome. And then we tried being with a couple. And then we tried going to parties. And, like, um, you know, we figured out what worked for us. And um, it's been great. Like, it's been amazing. Before this idea of porn, before, uh, before uh, bartending, like, was, like, what were you planning to do? How old are you, by the way? 42. All right, so what was the what was the plan? What was the plan? Because, you know, because getting into porn at 42 is not everyone's, you know. What was the plan? I've switched between a bunch of different careers. Um, I was a professional comedian for a second. Oh, I've shit. been a published writer, um, actor, but um, I, I decided I would rather pursue a life where other people pretended to be like me instead mm. of me pretending to be like other people. Yeah through a variety of different circumstances, including like the 2008 crash, uh, wound up into bartending, just sort of like backed my way into it and fell in love with it. Cause it's like creative, it's social, I get to use my personality yeah. um, and you know, scratch that creative itch and, and make something with my hands and make people happy with it and get money. There's a lot of immediate gratification to hey. it too. You're still making things with your hands now. Right? Yeah, exactly. I get to work with my hands, work with people. It's very personable <laughs> and like... That's what you should put in the business card. Uh, in the end, it was like, this is what I'm passionate about. Like, 
you know, I've always been super into sex and comfortable with my kinks and oh, like, yeah. you know, wanted to help other people get to where I'm at. And like, that, that all started out for me as like, in my 20s, I became like a self-taught pickup artist and was just always into women, like I said, and um, just sort of grew from there. And I was like, if I could actually like help other people have better sex lives, yeah. that would be a way for me to like do what I love while also helping other people, yeah. you know? Big, a nice big scoop. Big scoop? Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, I'm brave. Yeah. There we go. You got in at 42. Mm-hmm. Do you feel any competition from the younger guys? Like, because again, it's like I think people understand is like when it comes to male performers, you have the young ones and the older ones, and it's not like yeah. we're gonna cross over. It's funny, but like it's much more about like dilfs and like younger dudes mm -hmm. than I realize. Yep. Same way that it, you know, milf or like teen, whatever yep. for girls. Oh, you can just let it sit for a little bit. Sure. Um, no, I don't, because mm -hmm. like I feel my niche, and mm -hmm. so it's like. Um, you know, I'm not competing with anybody. I'm me. People are either gonna like me or not, and yeah. like I feel very confident that they will. Nice. So, like yeah. that. Best joke I ever heard at a restaurant, and this is my favorite. Which like anyone, if you speak Spanish, it's funny. If you don't speak Spanish, it's funny. Mm. It doesn't matter. But um, one guy, I you know, I said I, I, I was saying thank you to something, and I just chose to say gracias, and he goes de nalgas, and I just looked at him weird. He goes. If you ever want to make a Spanish speaker laugh, denalgas means butt cheeks, but it sounds like denada, like you're saying you're welcome. So you, it's, it doesn't matter. If, if you speak Spanish, you know you're in on it and it's hilarious, but they don't know, like, does he know he's saying butt cheeks or like, does he think he's saying you're welcome? Oh. And so they'll just look at you sideways, like, do you know what you just said? Or did someone tell you that's how you say you're welcome and you've been making an ass of yourself this whole time? Let's see, is it, is it feeling thick? So thick. So thick, fuck yeah. Slim thick. Slim thick. Fuck yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is the very arduous process of dumping this in here. Oh God, that sounds so good. Sounds like squirting. Yeah. Or just a yeah, really just juicy pussy. <laughs> Isn't that funny that like a really, like a sexy day with a real juicy pussy just sounds like it's kind of someone having diarrhea. No, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's sloppy. Like, that's I'm good. In, I'm into it, but yeah. keep that strong. Best advice ever. Just keep your dick hard. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I remember you were when we first talked at X3, uh, you were like, all right, uh, can you get hard on command? Like, can you come on command? Yeah. How's your pop shot? How's that? And I was just like, I was almost taken off guard, even though I'm so used to talking about these things. But, but it was like the way you were talking about it too. We were like, yeah, like I, I can hold my own. But it was also like, well, can I? Because like that's very, everything he's saying is so specific. But yeah. like, yeah, then it's like, okay, it's time to come now. And like for a second, I was like, I really hope I don't have trouble. And like. Not at all. Well, and that was actually the thing that I was like a little worried about. Is like, like, can you come on command? Like, I'm sure at some point I might have trouble and it'll take me longer than I want. And you know, yeah. everyone on set is just waiting for it. But so you he, know, here's the thing you're gonna have to worry about. It's it's can you come on command? Yeah. Can you do it every day? No. Mm, it's because yeah. it, there's gonna be a day where it's fucked up. Yeah. That's how it is, man. Yeah. Honestly, like I've had similar experiences at like sex parties or whatever when I'm like either there's a ton of people watching or whatever, and you just sort of like get into your own head about it. Oh yeah. And like, I remember one time I was with my girlfriend and another insanely beautiful friend of ours, she knows who she is, oh, yeah. at this um, like uh, play party venue. And um, they were both sucking my dick. And for like maybe 30 seconds, I was like having trouble like getting going at first. Yeah. And then I just said to myself like, it was almost like I was putting pressure on myself yes. because you're in a room full of people and everyone's watching you or whatever. Cause like, not to brag, but I'm with the two hottest girls there. Yeah. And, um, and then honestly, I just, I, I almost was like, dude, what are you doing? Like, hmm. you're just making it complicated for yourself. Like, just relax. And immediately, like, oh. yeah, immediately it worked. And it was literally just me telling myself like, you know, chill out, what are you worried about? Yeah, it's, um, it's stopping like, so like yesterday I had to work and there was like six, seven, I think there were seven guys behind the camera, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to focus on the girl. Sometimes that's tough, you know? Yeah. I got, I know directors who literally talk shit to you as you're trying to do it. And so it makes it a lot harder. 
I'll tell you those people in a second. Um, but like <laughs> names off camera. <laughs> but like these are things that make this shit harder to do because mm -hmm. again, you're trying to be passionate, you're trying to be in the moment, and it's hard to get over that. So it's like even if you see all these shapes, almost think of it the same way a camera will look where you in the background it's all fuzzy. Mm -hmm. You're just focused on this, you know? Mm -hmm. And that can really help those moments out because if you start thinking about everything else, it's not gonna go well. Let's put some more sauce in there. Thank you. Oh my God. Excited for this. Nice little blow job. Oh. Oh. That's fucking nice. Well, that got more kick than really I was good. expecting. God damn. Yeah. That's like perfect spice for me. Oh, that's so good. Oh fuck, that's really good. High five, man. Good job. Dude. Thank you. Um, yeah. Tell everyone where they can find you, what's new coming up, all the things that's uh, going on, whatever you want people to know. You know? Sure. Yeah. So, in case you missed that part, I'm Ken Fields. Um, look me up on uh, Twitter, Instagram, The Ken Fields. Uh, you can find all my links there, my OnlyFans, uh, see posts of all my scenes, all of that. Um, see my beautiful partner, Barbie Fields. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was really good. No, I appreciate that we made something good enough where you actually like felt like coming. Yeah. And guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, like, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like, uh, like, subscribe, obviously. Uh, Judy is the main Thanks, sponsor Judy. of this fucking show. She has uh, been helping us out since uh, the last couple months. Thank you so much, Judy. You are the shit. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. I want to eat the rest of this food. Yeah. This is fucking delicious.